Yashar Jasher 91. At that time, after the death of Yahusha, the children of the Canaanim were still in the land, and Yashar-el resolved to drive them out. And the children of Yashar-el asked of Yahuwah, saying, Who shall first go up for us to the Canaanim to fight against them? And Yahuwah said, Yahuda shall go up. And the children of Yahuda said to Shimon, Go up with us into our lot, and we will fight against the Canaanim, and we likewise will go up with you in your lot. So the children of Shimon went with the children of Yahuda, and the children of Yahuda went up and fought against the Canaanim. So Yahuwah delivered the Canaanim into the hands of the children of Yahuda, and they smote them in Bezech, ten thousand men. And they fought with Adoni Bezech in Bezech. And he fled from before them, and they pursued him and caught him, and they took hold of him and cut off his thumbs and great toes. And Adoni Bezech said, Three score and ten kings, having their thumbs and great toes cut off, gathered their meat under my table, as I have done. So Elohim has requited me. And they brought him to Yerushalim, and he died there. And the children of Shimon went with the children of Yahuda, and they smote the Canaanim with the edge of the sword. And Yahuwah was with the children of Yahuda, and they possessed the mountain. And the children of Yosef went up to Beit El. The same is Luz, and Yahuwah was with them. And the children of Yosef spied out Beit El, and the watchmen saw a man going forth from the city. And they caught him and said unto him, Show us now the entrance of the city, and we will show kindness to you. And that man showed them the entrance of the city. And the children of Yosef came and smote the city with the edge of the sword. And the man with his family they sent away, and he went to the Chetim, and he built a city, and he called the name thereof Luz. So all Yashar'el dwelt in their cities, and the children at Yashar'el dwelt in their cities, and the children of Yashar'el served Yahuwah all the days of Yahusha and all the days of the elders who had lengthened their days after Yahusha and saw the great work of Yahuwah which he had performed for Yashar El. And the elders judged Yashar El after the death of Yahusha for seventeen years. And all the elders also fought the battles of Yashar'el against the Canaanim. And Yahuwah drove the Canaanim from before the children of Yashar'el in order to place Yashar'el in their land. And he accomplished all the words which he had spoken to Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, and the oath which he had sworn to give to them and to their children the land of the Canaim, rather Canaanim, and Yahuwah gave to the, to the children of Yashar'el the whole land of Canaan, as he had sworn to their ancestors, and Yahuwah gave them rest from those around them, 
and the children of Yashadael dwelt securely in their cities. Blessed be Yahuwah forever. Amen and Amen. Strengthen yourselves and let the hearts of all you that trust in Yahuwah be of good courage.